Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Srini here and today we are going to discuss on a topic which is a very popular topic in Selenium that is Cucumber BDD, that is Cucumber Behavior Driven Development Framework. So if you are new to this channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notifications. As you can see from this current video, we have a lot, lot of videos in our channel on Selenium, Java, Python, API automation. So you will get to learn a lot of free concepts and which will be useful for you with respect to future career as well as your jobs it's going to be very important so please do not forget to subscribe so let's get started with today's topic so we are going to look at what is a cucumber bdd and we are going to cover the introduction part in this particular video it's going to be a separate playlist which i'm going to start so my friends and subscribers have really requested to put this particular video so i hear you out and here it is we are going to start a new playlist today that is on cucumber bdd so these are going to be the agenda for today. What is a Cucumber BDD we are going to start with? So Cucumber BDD stands for Cucumber Behavior Driven Development. This is one of the framework types in Selenium. So if you are already aware of Selenium and if you wish to learn the advanced concepts and frameworks, then this session is for you. If you are new to Selenium or to any programming language, do watch my playlist on Java and Selenium and then come back to watch this video. So what is a Cucumber BDD? Cucumber BDD is like one of the popular framework these days and you would agree with me because you could see a lot of job descriptions which are coming up in the market today. They are clearly mentioning out that that person should have experience working on a Cucumber Behavior Driven Development Framework. So we are going to learn why it is so. And first of all, what is a Cucumber BDD, right? So Cucumber BDD is one of the Selenium framework in which we are going to use a Gherkin language. It's like a plain English, uh, you could say. And in that syntax, we are going to use certain keywords. So with the help of those keywords, we will be telling any particular person who is, let's say, looking at the framework for the first time, what does our validation cover? What is the validation or a test case all about? So it will be written in plain English language that's called Gherkin language and any person who is going to read that particular description would be able to understand what it is trying to do. Right. So now second part, why is it useful for us to learn and practice Cucumber BDD and where or which areas in IT industry today, Cucumber BDD has a lot of significance that we need to understand. So imagine we are having a mixed team of um, you would say business analyst, user acceptance testing guys who are going to do user acceptance testing. We are having QA people, right? We are having project manager. We are having solution manager. We are having developers. We are having technical architects, different, different roles. There are uh, different, uh, you know, skill set wise people working in a team. Now, QA, if they are well versed with automation, they would be able to, of course, understand the technical syntax and the automation framework. Even developers may be able to understand because they may be knowing Java or Python, whichever language you are trying to use. But what about the solution manager or in case a person, let's say user acceptance guy or a business acceptance testing guy, they want to use your framework for their execution. Let's say for their sanity test or for their smoke execution for uh, like a production smoke or for a normal stage verification. How would they be able to do that if they are not knowing the technical part? So that's the difficult part, right? How would such a person who is not aware of the technical jargons would be able to use your framework? Because your framework should be something like everyone should be able to use it. And that is how its uh, usefulness could be proved, right? So here is the part where Cucumber BDD plays a critical role. It is because this, it is written in pure Gherkin language, which is like English. And you or a person who doesn't even understand technical terms would be able to know what is the test case all about? What the, what are these test cases mapping to which scenario, right? So if they are testing a particular agile user story, let's say, and they are having a lot of features which are available to be tested. And amongst those features, whichever they have to test, they are having different user stories, right? So user story is nothing but what a sub requirement of your feature, right? a small requirement part of your feature. And for that particular requirement of the user story, what are the different test scenarios we have to test? Okay. 
and stepwise mentioning what are the steps which we have to follow in that particular scenario. So that our Cucumber BDD would be able to assist us in doing that. So such a kind of a file where we are writing the scenarios right within a feature is called as a feature file. So I'm just explaining you all the different terminologies now. So the first concept what we are going to look at. So let me create a word document just to explain you all the different terminologies involved is a feature. A feature is nothing but it's like the product features which are planned to be tested. Now in this feature we would be having scenario which we have to cover. So its scenario is nothing but like a test case which we need to cover certain functionality. It could be a positive test case, it could be a negative test case, whatever we want to cover in that particular scenario. So the scenario does nothing but stands for the test case. Now for a feature we are having a scenario and this is all going to be present in a file called as feature file. So we'll just say this is present in a file called as feature file, right? We are having a feature, we are having a scenario and we would be having certain conditions which are going to be required to verify the scenario. So for that we are going to use these terms given when and then. So let's take an example. Let's say my scenario is going to be a test case which I want to cover a functionality, right? So let's say this was an example which I had provided, right? Example which I gave. Let's come to the actual scenario now. Uh, let's say search for Selenium training tutorials Google right? in Google application. A very simple example for anyone to understand this. So scenario is a test case which I want to cover. I want to search for Selenium training tutorials in Google application. So for that, what do I have, right? What do I have? So for that, given login to Google Chrome browser, let's say I'm going to use Google Chrome browser, right? But I also want to log in to my Google application. It's not just the Google uh, Chrome browser, right? I also have to log into my Google application. So let's say, and launch Google application. Right? This is going to be my given. Now, why don't I break up this because it is having an and in between. So we are having one more keyword called as and and say and launch the Google application. So my step is being distributed into two parts. Given is this part and and is this part when user enters search term what is the search term they want to enter so whatever you want to enter you can just mention here so we can of course pass parameters to what we want to search so i'm passing here selenium search tutorial selenium training tutorials here right so i can parameterize like this within double quotes if i want to give a particular value i can say like this right but that's not all right i have to also click on the search button so again for a when also i can have a and user clicks on search button home page it could be search button or let me say here user clicks on auto search drop down list so we have a drop down list which appears so if user clicks on the first result let's say the first result in auto search drop down list that's all about it. Then we would be redirected to the next page, right? User gets redirected to the search results page. Now, is that all which we want to verify? It could be sometimes, or sometimes it could be even that we want to verify the title. User verifies the page title. Okay. So I have used and common across given, when, and then as well. So that is how you can use and. So this covers my positive test case. Likewise, I can have a negative test case where if you try to enter something inside the form, which is a required or a mandatory parameter. So when you try to click on submit form, it will throw you an error. So that's going to be like a negative validation, which also we can cover. So this was one of the example of a Cucumber BDD, which I wanted to just highlight. What is the Cucumber BDD going to look like? So if you go 
if we go back to our slide so we have covered the second point why is it useful to learn and practice cucumber from our terms of a person who is a non technical background like a business acceptance tester or a user acceptance tester right for them it will be very useful to use our framework we are going to now look at installation of cucumber bdd in eclipse in this session so i have already opened eclipse here so you just have to go to help here and go to install new software or you can even go to marketplace let me go to eclipse marketplace now and show you how to do that so if you look here we are having this all different options available we can search for a particular tool which we require to add to our eclipse so we can search through this eclipse marketplace mostly the versions of uh, eclipse would be having this marketplace the newer versions so you should be able to search it so i am going to search here cucumber just search cucumber so you can see there is a plugin called cucumber eclipse plugin and i have already installed it but you would be able to see this as the symbol for cucumber so you would be getting a install button like this click on it and follow the instructions click on okay let it get installed it may ask you to restart eclipse to take effect so do restart your eclipse and you would be able to see a cucumber getting available in your machine so how do you verify that so let me create a new project here so we are going to start with cucumber playlist right so let's start a cucumber pdd example so let's just start creating a project okay now if i want to create a feature file so i'll just show you how to do that i think but a feature file which i just shown you through a word document i can even create a feature file now for this particular project so this is how we are going to look at the structure part in the next session how to create a cucumber framework structure but for now i am just going to focus on the feature file so let's say other do you see anything called as cucumber yes we see cucumber here and there is a step definition class so let me click on that or if you want we can even do it through this is a step definition file let's say i don't want to use a step definition file i want to do creation of these annotations or the file manually we can click on cancel and instead we can create a first a new feature file so let me say file and let me give a name now as features test let's features test dot give a extension of dot feature and click on finish so you can see that we have this feature file created now and let me expand it so that i can explain you all so they have given us some comments here to explain what is this feature file all about you are going to have a feature colon list of scenarios what you want to verify for testing your product scenario means what is the test case which you are going to verify so we are going to say some business rule we want to verify through a list of steps with arguments right so given some precondition step which we have covered in our word document when we want to do some actions then means what is the outcome of your action and we can use and but as the extra steps in your given when and then okay so don't worry about the scenario outline examples etc that we will cover up in our upcoming tutorial session so i just want to show one example see here how they mentioned feature has a colon scenario also has a colon but given when then they don't have colon even and doesn't have a colon so these are the few things which we have to take care and this likewise i've explained in my document as well in the word document which we created same way right given space mention what you want to have as a precondition you can have multiple preconditions separated or combined through and same way for when and again we can have it combined through and and then for then as well right so that's all from the introduction part and how to install the feature file that's what we're going to cover for today in the third part fourth part is i want to show what are the jars which we are required to download in case you are not using a maven project then what are the jars which you need to download so for maven we will look at the dependencies in the next session so for the jars you just have to go to this particular maven repository mvn repository website and search for cucumber jars 
and for your convenience what i have done is i have downloaded all the jars which are required for cucumber and i have put that into this particular folder if you see here these are the different dependencies or the different sub jars which are required here so all these cucumber jars you would be requiring whenever you are trying to work with cucumber so i can upload it to my git repository so you can just do one thing if you want to download the dependencies or if you want to download the jars manually then how to do that so just search for any name which i have mentioned here so you can i'll be mentioning these names as well in my description so that way it will be useful for you just go to this website and you can just search for this overture 1.8 jar right so you can go for this particular one and go for the version whichever you want so if you look at my version it is 1.8 so this is the 1.8 it has got the maximum number of usages so go for the one which is having maximum usages click on 1.8 now you can even download the maven dependency right from here okay or if you are using some other ide for example you can go for the respective tab and for the jar you can go for this jar and download it so for now i already have it so i'm discarding it but you can download the jars likewise from your maven repository so i'll be giving you all the list of all of these jars in my description so you can download these jars and even i'll be uploading a zip file in case you want to download from my git repository so i think that's all for today we have covered the introduction part as well as the installation in eclipse as well as the jars to download for cucumber bdd in the next session we will look at the maven dependencies and how to get started with the framework structure so i hope this session was useful so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do go ahead and subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notifications thank you so much